Uh, welcome to Brain Master's videos. Today we will be doing on indices using suitable substitution. So this is the question. 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 minus 4 multiplied to 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. So whenever we do this, we will have to change our equation okay, to something much easier. So this is the first step we will do. I will actually separate this up. Okay, using your knowledge of your indices, this will actually be your 3 to the power of 2x multiply 3 to the power of 3 okay minus 4 3 to the power of x multiply to 3 to the power of 1 okay and anything power 1 what would it be? it would be 3 power 0 okay that would be equals to 0 okay so maybe we will need this, maybe we will not. Okay, we will see how. So over here, what I'll do next is I will let okay, 3 power x okay, equals to y. So what I will see is whenever I see a 3 power x, I will change them to y. So over here, this will give me y squared. Okay, multiply to 27. Okay, I will simplify them. Okay, 4. I will have 3y Okay, this I will remain as plus 1 then Okay, equals to 0 So I will simplify this, I will have an equation which is 27y squared minus 12y plus 1 equals to 0 So over here, what I will do next is actually simplify them to give me my using my trial and error method It will give me 2 of the brackets equals to 0 Okay so this will actually give me my 9y minus 1 and my 3y minus 1. So with this, I'll know that y is actually equals to 1 over 9 or y is equals to 1 over 3. But I don't stop here because I will need to continue. Actually, my aim is to find out the x, okay, which is to solve for x. So I'll put this in back, 3 to the power of x. okay, And this actually is 3 to the power of minus 2 or 3 power x actually equals to 3 to the power of negative 1. So over here I found out that x is actually, actually equals to negative 2 or x is equals to negative 1. So these are the two answers I have. Okay, so this is how you solve using your suitable substitution for your indices. Okay, so if you do like our teaching videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel or you may also go on to our blog for more similar questions to practice on. Okay, thank you.